Hello and welcome back to Farming Simulator 22, our survival challenge on Hinterland. Um, October 2 and we have a contract um, that will be cultivating the big field we did yesterday in the last episode. Um, also our silage should be ready today too, so we've got a busy day. We'll go and cultivate that field. Um, plans for the day, yeah, cultivate that field, that the contract. Um which we've signed up for, we'll do that first and um, then we've got to do some silage because I want to deliver some silage, I want to try and get at least 30 grand-ish in the bank so plus I need to buy a few things I'm looking at I want to, by the end of this episode, I want to have our field lined and all ready to go so maybe even seed it because we do need to get our A and B and C this week today in this episode Otherwise we're going to miss the bus on that one. If we want wheat and barley down, I think it is anyway. They're the only two crops we can do at the moment, so it'd be good to get something in the ground. All that hard work will pay off. Um, and then we'll be back to finishing. Um, yeah, so we've got a lot of silage to sell, 60,000 litres, I think. Um, I think it's about 300 bucks, 4,000 litres, so... You do the math on that. <laughs> But yeah, so that's what our plan is today, in this episode. Uh, this will be the last contract work for a bit. We might get some uh, liming, um, seeding jobs and whatnot. We'd have to pay for that material, but that's okay, we're doing alright. So we're going to get stuck into this field. It is early in the morning, well, it's 7 o'clock, it's still pretty dark. Sun's coming up. Got a nice cruisy as cultivator, so we're going to get stuck in. Right, we waited for the sun to come up a bit, and we're going to get into it. But yes, like I said, we're going to cultivate this field, it won't take too long, and then we're going to do a few loads of silage to get our money up there so that we can afford some equipment. Um, yeah, like I said, I want to get some, uh, we need a cultivator, cedar, spreader, some lime, fertilizer, and seeds. Now we're going to have to purchase the soil information or whatever it is for precision farming if we want to go that route and get the best yield we can and best information. Um, oops, bumped the button, my bad. So yeah, we do have a busy day again, it's good. It's good we've got busy days ahead and it's not just busy chopping wood. Although having said that, we uh, once we get some money I'm going to invest in a better trailer for the logs. Um, more of a logging trailer that way we can fit some nice decent sized logs in there get a bigger weight for the Massey and um, oh, we'll be bringing in the money quickly then if I spent a day off camera just chopping a bunch of trees and transporting it uh, by the time I come back <laughs> on camera I would be rich so but yeah so this is just cruisy it's good we've got these little jobs here that we can do and just cruise around. Um, I think I'm just going to go for simple wheat in the field that we do if we do get onto that today. Um, that's the plan. I think wheat is just nice and basic, nice and easy, nothing too stressful. And we've got about nine months or so to wait for so we can afford a harvester. Gives me plenty of time to go through the mods and look for some cheap ones that were, might do the trick. Not a big field, so. But yeah, we're rolling along. Uh, we're progressing quite well. I'm spending money just as quickly as I make it, but that always happens. Um, yeah, and I'm not too worried about tidiness because this isn't my field. So, <laughs> you wanted it cultivated, you want to pay me, you get what you're given. But yeah, I'll probably um, get into a time lapse on this soon because a bit not much to talk about. I'll explain what the day, uh, what we're going to do for the day. And it's mostly just cultivating silage work and then doing our own field. So I'll jump into a time lapse and I'll see you soon.
that's that done we'll cash in on that job and we get about two thousand six hundred dollars nice that'll do and here we are over at the silage now that's completely ready to go so we can take the cover off that ignore the grass in front of it and um, that's the stuff i didn't clear out the way which i probably should have done but never mind um how do you take the covers off this then let's see there we go and i'm guessing that one will come off once we start scooping some out we'll see anyway so we've got the bucket on um get the bucket and the weight trailer's parked up ready to go so we'll do a couple of loads um and see how we go the ground's not the most even ground but i'm sure we'll get there ah, yeah, there we go that disappeared nicely cool so you can see we've got like twenty-five thousand dollars in the bank 25 and a half um i want to get to three thirty thousand um as a safety net and then we'll go and get some stuff for our field so we can um start getting that some seeds down in that alignment and everything it's plowed ready to go um if i budget right and i pick the right cedar or seed drill whatever you want to call it i can um bypass having to buy the cultivator altogether and if it it's fertilizer then yeah even better but we're buying a spreader anyway for lime so i'm going to aim to get one of the modded um, seed drills because then i don't have to spend extra money on a cultivator as well just straight seed over plowed ground and um we'll try and get into liming after we've done the silage that'll probably be the first bit but we do still have to buy the soil information so not sure how much it should only be a couple of grand surely it's not the biggest field out there so we um it is a bit uneven i probably need a bigger weight on the back of this thing with a thousand liters is even it's a bit precarious i should say is the word i'm looking for <laughs> but you can see it just wants to lift up so well, we're doing all right let's uh is that our third load is it I think this is like 8,000 litres, this trailer. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure it's 8,000, just over 8,000. May even be 8.5. But yeah, um, that's going to take a tedious little job doing this, so we'll get stuck into it. Um, but yeah, I'm just, I've actually really enjoying this map. I can't put the game down on this one. And I've still got Bally Spring to continue. I just can't get away from this one. It's all coming together nicely on this farm. Um, and of course, there's a new map I've seen released, which has given me ideas again. So that's Frontier Map, the mod. Um, I'm looking into that. Um, I've got an idea for that. I want to do like a contractor roleplay type thing on it. But it's going to take a while to set up, so... But anyway, that's that's another map. My brain's going crazy. Listen to me. But um, I'll continue filling up the this trailer, and uh, when it's full, I'll get back to you because it's a bit boring. So I'll see you in a bit. Right, that's filled. Well, that's about ninety percent. Um, I think there's only one place to sell silage, but I'll just double check. Uh, there it is, yeah, the port, okay, and that's 319 per thousand litres, so we've got about 8,000 litres in there, so that about two and a half thousand dollars roughly, I think, if my maths is correct, we'll see. <laughs> Sorry about that, I had some real major audio issues and it was crackling, it was once, yeah, so I just did a quick time lapse on that one. But uh, we sold a couple of loads, we're over 30 grand now, just, and um, yeah, we're going to go shopping.
Uh, like I said, I want to buy a C drill, and I've got these two, maybe three in mind, two, because they're cheaper. Um, yeah, we'll buy that, because it's nice and basic. Uh, six grand, and there's a spreader, which, uh, once again, it's a mod. The lizard one, seven and a half. And that's that's gonna do us nicely, I think. Um, that can we can put the fertilizer in there as well. So, but with the seed drill, that takes fertilizer anyway. So we can kill two birds with one stone when seeding. So, yeah, I think we'll just grab that as that is there. We'll just change the color to that bluey green. There we go. And um, now we've got to buy the lime and uh, fertilizer and seed. So, not too worried about what bags, whether they're liftable or not. I do have that mod on, by the way, but we're going to park up next to it and fill up anyway, so. Um, the spreader was... Yeah, so we'll grab those. That'll do us for that. It's not a very big field, so I don't see us needing very much. Maybe fertilizer, but... Um, we're not there yet. We'll get the liming done first, then we'll look at fertilizing and seeding after that. So yeah, we'll purchase all that stuff, the seeds. Um, here we go. And there's our farming equipment. We can get our field done now. So, I mean, we took, what, half our money away, pretty much. It's not too bad. We've still got 14, 15 grand in there, so... That's not too bad. Um, we're not going to need to spend too much of it, I don't think. Uh, we've got seeds. We probably will need more seeds and we'll need more fertilizer as well. Um, where's the lime? Oh, there it is. Okay. We'll grab that then. Is that filling up? Yep, it sure is. So it's only 5,000 litre capacity on the spreader, but that's, that's pretty decent. And the, the mower, I mean the mower, the tractor kind of looks miniature compared to the tools now, so <laughs> it's almost comical. <laughs> so we may have to look at getting a bigger tractor if we find one come up on sale, but let's um, get the rest of our silage done and get some logging done in that. And I think we'll be able to look at getting a decent sized tractor. Um, the mass is good, don't get me wrong, we chuck a bigger weight on this and this will do our log work nice and easy. Um, but the bigger tractor for the farm work is definitely needed, and for towing, this thing kind of struggles. Um, and it goes half its speed while towing, which is fair enough. But it's not the, it's only 60 horsepower, I guess. But um, yeah, so I mean we're rocking and rolling now. We've got our lime and the spreader. We can go and chuck that on. Well, we're going to have to purchase the soil information first. Then we can chuck the lime down. And then hopefully after that we can get on to putting the seed in and then we've got a field underway. And we've had a productive two or three episodes now, so... I mean the money doesn't look fantastic, but we're actually accumulating gear. I am going to need to get another mower as well at some stage. Because um, we do have a bit of grass around to mow if we want to do some more silage in, that bu in the bunker. Or, yeah... Um, or maybe we just, yeah, I think it's best if we put another lot in there, once we get rid of it. Here we are with our tools at the field, um, went ahead and delivered them. And uh, we're ready to purchase the soil information. Um, yeah, at the moment, nothing. So it's like you saw, it's our last chance to plant something in this field up here. Like I guess it's not a very big field at all. Um... We could probably stretch it out a little as time goes by, but for now this will do us. And we've got our information, and it's in poor condition, so we will get that sorted. It did cost like two and a half thousand ish dollars, I think. Yep. So, okay, so we've got loam, mostly loam. I guess that's good, like average soil. Um, I'm not sure what the optimum soil is that you want, to be honest. Um, yeah, I think we'll just go plant in it. We'll go ahead and lime it first anyway. That's the main thing to do first, is chuck the lime down. And uh, we'll get that out of the way. And then we can chuck some seeds down. 
Um, not sure what the time is in game at the moment. We'll have a look in a sec. Just having a look at all the info. Okay. Okay, so it's only mid morning, so we've got plenty of time to chuck the lime down and get some seeds on that. Um, and maybe even sell some more silage before the end of the episode. We'll see how we go. So, I mean, with harvesters, this, we've got a, about nine months to wait, so um, that's our cheapest one at the moment. But I'll go through Mod Hub. I did have some in my old saves, but I'll have to re download them again. Um, there are some cheap ones in there, not the greatest, not the fastest, and very, very narrow, so. But anyway, let's get stuck into putting this lime down and get something done on this field. Um, if I, and yeah, I'm not sure what happened with the audio issues before, it was as soon as I pulled up to the, uh, the port tower there, to dump the load. Um, it just started crackling on control, I didn't couldn't hear it on my game it was only only going through reviewing it that I noticed it so it was very odd so anyway no yeah so anything like that happens I'm just gonna chuck time lapses over it I'm not sure what's going on might be the Xbox system itself or the, the app that I use but anyway let's get to spreading this lime and any parts I miss I'll go over and do my best to catch them at the end when I'm finished So yeah, that's a pretty decent spreader, it's, not, it's a decent width, we're not, nothing to sneeze at, um, for our first spreader too, can't complain. But I am going to look at getting a bigger tractor at some stage. Um, probably in the next episode I'll do some logging off camera maybe, um, after this episode if I've got nothing else to do and uh, make some money and so we can get a bigger tractor when you come back hopefully something's on sale but for now let's carry on doing this field and I'm sorry if this system that I used <laughs> that I do to spread isn't cohesive with your ODD or anything like that um, OCD I should say <laughs> but um, it gets the job done and that's all that matters so we'll get stuck into this and um, yeah, and I'll see you when I'm done. So that's that field lined and seeded and fertilized. Perfect field now. Um, I had to fill the tractor up once. It only costs like 50 bucks to fill up, so it's not too bad. So we got wheat done. So in about nine months, roughly. I'm not sure exactly, but sometime next year we'll have a crop of wheat. So in between now and then, we've got to find a harvester within a price range or make a lot of money. Don't know if we'll make hundreds of thousands of dollars in a year. So, but that's looking good. We could get a roller. Um, it says with needs rolling, and that'd give us another what three percent yield bonus. Uh, is it worth it? Um, we probably can't pull many rollers. I've got some mods, I think. I'm 
Yeah, yeah, I've got these little ones, but that's going to take a while. Two and a half meters. Yeah, and the other ones are pretty expensive too, aren't they? So I don't think I'll bother just for the three percent. It's just an extra long, tedious job. <laughs> I mean, with a bigger roller, I probably would, but we haven't got the money to go wasting. Well, we can. It's only a, less than a grand. But anyway, we've got some silage to do. And I'm thinking we sell all the silage we got in there, we buy a mower, we mow and harvest, um, we mow and collect all the grass, and get some more silage underway so that by, what, January, December, January, we've got more silage to sell. So, we're going to get stuck into doing this. This is a bit of a pain. Um, I do need a bigger weight, but for now I'm going to persevere, only because I can't be bothered going back up to the shop to change the weight. Um, I do need a bigger weight because I do tip easily. Um, this tractor isn't very ideal for this kind of job. Uh, small jobs like the seeding and the spreading, it did a great job at that. Um, Ploughing as well, but as a digger, a loader, it's not really ideal. And I guess it was never, I don't know if it was built for that, but yeah, reaching high for silage. <laughs> You'll see. But anyway, it gives us some good money. I think we get about two and a half grand per load. Whoa, there we go. So yeah, two and a half grand per load is pretty good. Um, we've got about 40 odd thousand litres in there left. So, get 8,000 to 9,000 per load. I can take a load in the bucket as well as the trailer. So it's about 9,000 a load. So it's about four or five loads. Um, so we're looking at about maybe 12 grand which is pretty good, 12 grand from emptying this and then we'll get another lot under the way, underway I should say and um, we could fund a, you know, once we put the grass in here and that's fermenting we could fund a trailer to get better logs and um, then we can get more money from logging and it'll be an easier job too but I do think we need a proper tractor, a bigger tractor so I'm hoping after selling all the silage in the next episode because, whoa <laughs> See, there's the weight. If I can counteract that by nearly tipping it on my head, it would save me. Uh, I lost my train of thought now. But yeah, I think we do need to fund a bigger tractor. That is the next step. This tractor's good. I've got nothing against it, and I'll probably keep it around. It's a nice monument to keep around on the farm. Um, we did sell our very first tractor. That wasn't that great. Um, I mean, it was all right. But yeah, this one's much better. 60 horsepower. So we'll keep it around, it could come in handy. But um, we'll see what kind of money. We're going to get about 12 grand from selling all the silage, so it's going to take us up to 20 grand. I don't see us getting a really good one unless it's on sale. If it's a Fiat and it's on sale, I am going to walk away from that deal. Well, yeah, I've learnt my lesson there. So I'm going to carry on doing this. Um, probably going to do all this off camera. And. Um, sell it all so we you know jump in next time on the next episode we can go shopping together and hopefully there's a sale on and uh probably maybe some contracts too hopefully like some liming or fertilizing seeding and such but anyway for now that's it for me um i'll jump in and carry on doing this behind the scenes and i'll see you next time thanks for joining bye